Hey everyone, welcome to another Tech Tuesday. Today I am showing you my new favorite email campaign software, Flowdesk. Now, my favorite thing about Flowdesk, you're looking at the desktop or dashboard right now, and my favorite thing is really how easy it is to use. We've used a ton of other email campaign tools in the past, but really I find this to be the simplest and most straightforward way to use email campaigns and get your website all set up. So this is kind of just a dummy account that I created. Um, you know, if you, as you write great emails, they will all show up right here. Um, you also have this option to have different folders to keep things organized. But at the top, you'll see kind of the different ways that you can actually use Flowdesk. So you have these emails, email campaigns, and I'll show you what that looks like in a moment. You have forms, which you can actually add directly to your website with a plugin. Um, it, well, it's a little bit of code, um, and really if you are using Squarespace, it isn't too difficult. You just need to add a code block, and then take the code that Flowdesk provides to you, add it in, and then it'll be all set up. Um, so sim super simple to use. There's also workflows, which when you can combine this with forms, it makes it so easy to have your email campaigns sort of auto-populate those those emails that you start to collect. So let's say you create a form where uh, someone signs up for your newsletter on your website. They enter in their email and you can set up a workflow where once they enter in their email, it'll actually go to a specific um, audience or a folder of, of emails. So you can have something like newsletter subscriptions or if you have people that want to uh, like updates on you know new tax code and you have a tax code newsletter or something or a blog post newsletter um, you can create workflows really easily from here um, and then there's also the audience and this is just kind of like email lists um, they call them you know subscribers or segments uh, for me personally I have different segments uh, for example, we have our example, we have our new segment. I have a segment for our current clients. I have a segment for our, our content creation clients, and then I also have a segment for um, if we have like like webinars or something, people who attend webinars. So really easy to create. But I'm going to actually go through and show you how to first create an email, and then then I'll also um, give you kind of a quick quick overview of the pricing. So. When you want to create an email, all you have to do is do click that button that says create email. And they give you a bunch of templates, um, which are really kind of easy to, to, uh, to edit. But I'm just going to click a pretty basic one. I'm going to go with this just one. And then click customize. And then very similar to what you would see on Pretty much all email campaign builders is the screen where you will build the email campaign. And it's actually similar to Squarespace in that there's blocks that once you select them, you can, you'll have a box on the right that kind of lets you edit however you want. Um, you can click this plus icon and then, then you can add different things like layouts, images, logos, video, Instagram, um, buttons, link bar, divider, tons of different options. If you want to edit the text, you could just Click, type, edit. Um, so it's really easy and, and user friendly to use the the button. You know, you just go over here to link. If you want to edit this button, you go to link, and you can copy and paste it right there. So very intuitive. That is what I love most about this is I'm never searching for buttons. It's all pretty much right there in front of me. Another tool that I think think is really awesome and and I think accountants get a lot of use out of is when you click on this plus, plus icon and you see layouts. On the right, you are going to see a bunch of, of different layout options that they already kind of built for you. So if you want to, you know, have this block, I can add a photo here and I can change the text. The text is kind of hard to read. Um, and I can have, let's update the text to something a little bit more. Oh, okay. Well, with with this layout, you have to have that text. So let's choose a, choose a different layout that's maybe a little bit easier. Uh, let's go with this one. 
Okay, so I just added another one that looks very similar to the one below. I'm going to add a spacer just so that you can see the difference. And so yeah, I just added a layout and it makes it really, really easy. Frankly, it looks attractive. You don't have to do a lot design-wise to have it look good. So if you want to change this to like, you know, the name of your blog post. And then up here, you can do something like new blog post. And then you have to see it and you can link it out. So you add an image. It's all done. You can change the color in the background to your brand colors. Other than that, it's really simple to sort of design these really attractive emails where you don't have to put a lot of effort in. Um, and they're kind of already looking very attractive uh, to begin with. So nice little cheat for those of us who are short on time. There is also a ton of layout options. So you, you don't have to reuse the same ones over. You can kind of scroll through and find a layout that is appropriate for whatever you are trying to promote. Um, the next steps are also, oh, they're going to have me do other steps. So the next steps are fairly simple and, and pretty standard with any email campaign tool. You would choose an audience or choose an email list, and then you can, can send now or schedule. But let's go back to the dashboard. And I also want to show you real quickly how to create a workflow and how this is so easy. So let's see, let's just start a workflow from scratch. And let's say I'm creating a workflow for um, like a pop-up that I have on my website where I'm collecting emails. So I'll just say, pop-up email collection. And what, you're going to start with a trigger. So a subscriber is added to a segment list. Um, you know, it's a little difficult because I don't have everything set up. Let's just say there's a form that's set up. I'm just going to call this the pop-up. I'm going to call this segment list new. So what that means is whenever anyone completes this form and, and enters in their address, they are going to be added to the email list of new. I'm going to go through new. So you'll just take this code for the form and add it directly into your website in a code block. Really easy to do with Squarespace if you use a different website platform. Um, you may have to do a few workarounds. But there, we have, we have a form, and so I'm going to go back to our workflow. And so this workflow is going to begin when a subscriber is added to the segment new. Now, a subscriber is going to be added to that segment whenever they complete that form. So remember, I, I, I had that form created, and I selected that anyone that enters in their email, it's, it's going to be sent to this segment. So this is the trigger. So once an email is added and entered into our website, I can choose a few things I would like to happen. Would I like an email to be sent out immediately? Do I want a time delay of maybe kind of a day or a few hours? Do I want a condition? So take action based on a condition. That can mean, let's say that I already have them listed in another email list, so maybe I don't want them listed twice. I can create a condition that prevents them from being added twice to an email list. And then action. Take an action as the next step. So maybe I want to add them to another email list or maybe I want to remove them. But I'm going to say maybe I want to add a time delay. And I only want it to be a couple hours just to make it a little bit more personal and not feel like there's a robot on the other end. You can also personalize the day or the time of year. And then once we wait three hours, I want to automatically send uh, an email that I've already created. So I'm going to make a copy of this and have that email that I've worked on earlier sent out. Um, and then after that email is sent out, this is going to be great if you have like a welcome email. Uh, you can have this all set up. I'm going to have another delay of, let's say, seven days. 
and then I'm going to add, add them to another segment. and then add them to the newsletter. So what I've essentially created here really quickly is just a way for when any, whenever anyone subscribes to my plugin or my, my email newsletter on my website, after three hour wait, they get, get a welcome email, then there's, there's a seven day delay, and then they're added to my newsletter, uh, newsletter email list. So pretty simple, as you can see, it's very self-explanatory as how to create a workflow. I'm going to go ahead and publish it. And so now it is live and, and that's kind of the workflow that I'll follow with, uh, with the form that I created. So super simple to use, um, really, really easy and uh, kind of a really simple platform overall. Um, it's one of the reasons we love it so much. It gives you everything you need and nothing that you don't. Um, but I do want to show you just some of the kind of awesome ways that you can use, use Flowdesk, or now that I have shown you, um, we, I do want to talk about the pricing. And so they only have one plan really, and that is their $38 per month package, which is a little bit expensive. I understand, you know, you know compared to some of the other um, maybe email campaign tools out there or other options. However, we do have a affiliate code with them. And if you use that affiliate code, you actually get 50% 50 50 off for life. So it's a really awesome plan. Um, it's a super generous affiliate offer. It's honestly one of the best affiliate offers I have seen for almost any tech software. Um, but if you are interested in testing out Flowdesk or checking it out, I highly recommend checking out that, that affiliate link. You can save 50%. So if you have any questions about Flowdesk, feel free to leave those in, a com in the comments. I know we have a lot of other people in the Facebook group that also use Flowdesk, so I'm sure any of us should be happy to jump on in. Okay, well, I will see you next week.